All right, we have a season 15 cup game getting started here for the top 16. This is going to be Bill Curless Army playing Phoenix against uh, Jeremy playing Crane. Um, we're already into turn one here. We see a Paragon of Grace with three fate. Eastern time <clears throat> is, what, three hours? So that's in an hour from now. We'll see if I can do that one. A uh, different game is happening. Okay, so Ethereal Dreamer. And... <clears throat> Give me one second here. Um, okay, let's see. So, Paragon of Grace got clouded and attacked Meditations. We see a double walking the way here. First walking the way found Sukune. Second one is going to find a storehouse. Storehouse is good. Uh, so Paragon of Grace is getting this Earth Ring. Let me check these splashes here real quick. So Jeremy is on Dragon Splash, 3 Let Go, 3 Ancient Master. Restricted list card is Policy Debate. Okay. Yeah, he's running Cute and Kikita, so that makes sense. Uh, he's on Seeker of Void. We have Keeper of Air. Uh, the Phoenix deck is on Lion Splash. He has 1 Legion of 1, 3 My Ancestor's Strength, and 2 Strength in Numbers. Um, he's of course running his trademarked deck, which is pretty crazy. <clears throat> Favorable ground, uh, moves Paragon of Grace in- ooh! <laughs> So the, the Dreamer found a shameful display. He tried to move in there to get the honor, but we see a strength in numbers. It's a little bit. Um, he is not breaking because Jeremy took that Earth Ring, which is what the Dreamer was used on. We do see a bonsai though. Ancient Master into the conflict and uses Shameful there. Ooh, we see a charge on Sukune, but that gets Voice of Honored uh, very quickly there. 
It's a little bit unfortunate that he got the bonsai instead of the charge. Uh, would have been nice. I guess he wanted, like, if you're going to save one of those, you probably want to save the charge. But uh, getting the charge canceled instead of the bonsai is a little bit unfortunate because now you don't get the Tsukune uh, ring effect ability. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it's a pretty good start for Crane, I would say. Having the Cloud on the Paragon of Grace is a little bit unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Um, Phoenix spent all of his fate that turn and didn't really get a whole lot done. He display powered the Earth Ring. I think I missed that. So he is up one card. Curlis really struggles versus Crane in general. Alright. Ooh, wow, we see a two fate Satoshi and then dupes for a third fate. He has a keeper initiate here. And he's going to find Kanjo District with the Satoshi. He did get the favor. Thanks to that display of power. Um only one keeper in the discard. But hitting the Conjo there is pretty strong. I think it was a 50-50 because he had he had one Satoshi left, right? So it was just well, he might have had a storehouse left. Let me check the deck list. Something like nine and one against this deck. Wow. Yeah, so he did have a storehouse left. He only has two Satoshi though, but he does have Emperor. So it's like a one and three to hit Conjo there. Uh, the Ethereal Dreamer is going to be used on the Air Ring. That's interesting. Oh, he's Keeper of Air, sure. Um, and he hits Vassal Fields here. So Vassal Fields does mean that he'll go down to one fate. Uh, we see a My Ancestor's Strength to set the skill to Tsukune's skill. Um, not the best you can get off of My Ancestor's Strength, but it is enough to break here. I don't think you care too much about the Vassal Fields breaking though, right? It's not Shameful, it's not Magistrate Station. Uses Vassal Field, so with the My Ancestor's Strength, uh, that puts him down to zero fate. So we do see a break there, that puts them one to one on breaks. Hey Alpha Squid and Beard of Zeus, how's it going? I'm <laughs> zero zero versus this deck, yeah. Don't think I've ever played against Kralos Army myself either. Uh, so the Keeper Initiate comes out. Um, we're seeing an attack at the Conjo District. It's Kuroi Mori there. Interesting. So he has... Alright, so his province row is, I mean, obviously a little bit strange. But he has Entrenched Position under the Stronghold. And then the row is Manicured, Meditations, Kuroi Mori, and Midnight Revels. Definitely interesting.
All right, so Satoshi defends. This is political water. Um, I guess he's going, hmm. Water had one fate. Like, the only thing I can think of here is that he's going water because he expects a character to get conjured, and then he can potentially stand it back up. Yeah, we do see the conjo on Kaizen there. So it's 1 to 6, not looking very winnable for Crane now. I guess the other thing is that, like, maybe you just want to get a fade off the ring in case it is Kuroimori and he decides to switch the ring to something else. Uh, we see a Spies at Court. Ooh. That's going to discard an Ancient Master and a Bonsai. Uh, hitting the Ancient Master is actually really, really good there. Um, it's going to make it a lot harder for Crane to steal the favor away from the Phoenix here. So Paragon defends. He's going at Shameful with this Keeper. That's interesting. I mean, obviously he can't afford to hit Magistrate Station here, so I guess if he does attack, this is where he has to go. Ooh, we see a let go on Cloud the Mind, but immediately another Cloud gets played. He's out of fate now again. This is political, yeah, so I don't think he can really win this conflict, can he? Let's see. Yeah, I don't think he has any zero-cost cards that would win the conflict for him there. Uh, he is going to get the favor again, though, so yeah, discarding that Ancient Master was a really big deal. All right, let's see what we have here. There's a Kaizen dupe, Kakita favorite. I've been seeing a lot of people playing this card. Um, I don't really feel like I'm that interested in it personally. Like, I guess it's decent with policy debate. And then you can cute in Kakita. I don't know. I just don't really know like how good it actually is. But people are playing it, so I guess it's probably slightly better than Nourishma. Maybe. Depends. Uh we see Adept of the Waves and Uona. Doji Challenger with four fate. There are actually no uh, copies of five fires in this Phoenix deck. Finds Midnight Rebels here, so that's good for Crane. The highest cost character here is Satoshi. Walking the way. Uh, so this is going to let him use Uona. <laughs> Discards Fushicho, replacing it with Fushicho. Uona bows the Paragon. Um, because he didn't use Kanjo as the first action, this is going to let Crane pull in the Keeper Initiate, but I guess it's a minus one, minus one skill, so I don't think that really matters. Uh, he could favorable ground home, but there's... You probably pull in first. Kakita favorite won't stay in list very long. Currently, Crane is testing a bunch of post-clan pack stuff, but Nourishma seems like the superior choice. Yeah, that, that seems fair. Um... Like, it's it's exactly the same stats as Nourishma, right? So the only difference is the ability. He also has the Duelist tag, but that's not really too important. Um, and then Nourishma... So Nourishma has Unique, 
and then his ability is flip a province compared to this guy's plus two political while he's in a duel. I mean, if if Uji if Uji is on the board, then Narishma is like definitely better. Um, and even without him, it seems like he might just be better anyway. <laughs> Narishma doesn't have a green napkin. Yeah. Not sure if that's a napkin, but it's something. Uh, for shame, disc uh, dishonors Mia Satoshi. Hmm. Okay, so some stuff is happening here. Wow, Bill just milled like his whole deck. That's interesting. Uh, court Games honors the Challenger for shame, dishonors Satoshi, Challenger moves home. Seems good. He spent the My, My Ancestor's Strength also there. Oh, another Spies at Court, and it hits the third Ancient Master and a Menacing Iron Warrior. Pretty good hit there. Bill is getting pretty lucky with these Spies. So Keeper Initiate can poke Shameful now. Uh, this is probably the reason you use the challenger to pull it in, because now you kind of have to worry about this poke. And attacking Shameful is like perfect here because all of the crane characters are honored. Uh, is Curlis on one bids? Uh, he bid four this turn, it looks like. So, not yet. I'm a little bit surprised. Okay, Fire Ring had a fate on it. I was going to say maybe you should go for the Air Ring. Like, Air Ring is a lot more threatening, but if you don't actually have a card in hand you can play, then there's no reason to do that. I mean, I guess there is a reason to do that. It would probably force him to defend. We see a charge on Fushicho. Is that cancelled? No. Interesting. So that is going to be a break on Shameful Display. Uh, this does mean that Phoenix is out of fate again. And he only has a political conflict left. So with zero fate and only a dash political character on the board, there's no way he can attack again this turn. Unless, I mean, there there is technically a way, like if you attacked air and he won on defense or something like that. Uh, but yeah, you can attack with both characters here, military, probably at the Conjo. You could, I'm, I'm pretty sure if he attacks Midnight Rebels, he could break that. Maybe not. Uh, but yeah, you really want to get that Conjo out of here if possible. He could have just stood for favor there. I think standing for favor would have actually been okay. But we'll see what he can get out of this attack. Might be able to break. There's the quick conjo. He's winning by three. He needs three more. So, like, if you just stand for favor there, um, I guess Fushicho does bring in a character that will probably be Tsukune or Kaede, possibly. So next turn he has that character, Adept, Dishonored, and Satoshi, One Fate. And then you have these two characters. And he doesn't have favor. Okay, he's just going to break Kanjo though. With a double katana. Seems good.
and the watering stands up Kaizen as well, which means he will get the favor. So, pretty strong play there. So, it looks like this game is about to swing back in the crane's favor here. Uh, we'll see what he can do with the pull on this Fushicho. Why not use <clears throat> Kuroi Mori to switch conflicts? Uh, that is a good question. He didn't use the ability at all. Um, if he switched to political, Uona would go home, and it would be five, so he would need one more skill. No more initiates in discard. He has keepers. Why not go air on less? Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Um, like I was saying a minute ago, he attacked fire because it had a fate on it. Uh, but I really think air was the better choice there because he had two keepers in his discard. Would not have broken then with challenger? Yeah. I mean, he would have needed to spend another card. Um... Oh, so Phoenix reshuffles his dynasty with all three Keeper Initiates in the discard pile. That feels a little bit bad. Uh, might be able to find them again with Satoshi. Yeah, so they're going to start bidding low now. Phoenix is down to three honor. There's the Satoshi finding a storehouse. No Keepers, though. Dreamer used on the air ring. Uh, he brought back Kaede with the bird there. And he is first player here. Okay, so he's going to attack Earth. Let's see what he finds. Uh, we see two Kakita dojos in the provinces with two very large duelists on the board. Yeah, I definitely agree that Air was probably the better choice last turn. I didn't actually even see who he used the firing on. Um, although, so the the one thing about that is he got a fate, honors Mia Satoshi, he got a fate off the firing, which he played a charge on the bird with. Uh, so I think potentially without the fate, he wouldn't have been able to break. I think he just didn't have any other buffs in his hand. Or not not break, but not even win because the keeper didn't have any skill. Ooh, we see a gossip. Names Supernatural Storm, okay. Hasn't played any of those yet. Ooh, strength in numbers. Let's see if that gets canceled. Nope, no cancel. Okay. So he'll need something else here. We see a pass. That is unfortunate. He's exactly breaking here. Uh, you don't care too much about the air ring. It gets him out of the danger zone. He's spending a fate. Gonna play a Shrine Maiden at home. Uh, that finds a Path of Man and a Supernatural Storm. He's gonna be able to play that Path of Man here as well. And I believe he still has a display of power in the deck, so we'll have to watch out for that. Plays Walking the Way, finds a storehouse,
Yep, so there's the break. Uh, definitely unfortunate that there is that strength of numbers there. What you could have done... What you could have done to play around that was play the gossip before the conflict starts and then uh, duel the Kaede as your first action. Now you just completely lost that one dojo there. Discards a bonsai at random. So, pretty big play for Phoenix. Uh, Crane should be able to go ahead and break this Midnight Revels. Here comes the Doji Challenger. Oh, he decided to go Air. Interesting. I was thinking he was just going to stick with Earth for the Solemn Scholar, but... Went with air instead. And then, yeah, why did he go air and then play all and nothing to resolve earth? Why didn't he just go earth? That, that, that actually doesn't make any sense. Wait. Oh. Resolves Earth instead of Void, okay. But he could have done the same thing. He could have gone Earth and then resolved Air instead of Void and then had the Earth Ring for the Scholar? I don't know. That seems a little bit weird. Uh, Adept of the Waves gives Covert. I mean, I think he has to break the Stronghold here. Crane can still break Midnight Rebels. He's attacking water, interesting. Uh, we see the dojo. To get the honor, sure. My ancestor's strength. Uh, can't play Storm here, it got gossiped. So he now has a Fushicho Scholar, 7 to 5, still not breaking. Um, there's a Political Rival, yeah, so with the Political Rival I don't think he can break this. Like, he can replay that Ancestor's Strength on the Shrine Maiden, that will go up to 13. Yeah, he gossiped Supernatural Storm, that's correct. If he could play Storm here, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5. So yeah, that would probably do it. But yeah, that's just going to be a win on defense for Crane. And now he has his choice of Earth or Fire here. His hand size is 2. Ooh, against the waves, Shreddy Kayade. That's a little bit unfortunate. I think he should have used Yuri's duel instead of the dojo, because now he doesn't have the dojo here, right? Like that, the effect of that literally doesn't matter. All he wanted was the honor from the stronghold. I think he should have done that instead because, yeah, now you can't uh, dojo to bow the Kaede. Hmm, maybe he wouldn't have been able to anyway, though. What is this, 5 to 6 in military? Yeah, so, oh well. So he wins that on defense. Uh, we're going to see some characters leave play here for sure. Bill getting the favor again, though, is a little bit scary. Still has that Satoshi on the board. And he actually still has a pretty good storm next turn. 
Uh, there are three Shugenja on the board, plus whatever else he finds here. So he might still be able to break the stronghold. Uh, Crane definitely has a lot, though. Uji in a province. Yep, we're going to see him. Uh, four Fate seems like a lot. He hasn't seen a way of the crane yet, so I think he will have one this turn, likely. Like, you just bid high here. Yeah, I mean, four fate seems like a lot. I think maybe you just put three at most there. Uh, Emperor with zero fate, wow. So, yeah, and then you just bid five seems good. Uh, so Phoenix is really going all out this turn. He has the Emperor. He has four Shugenja for the Storm. There's only one Gossip in the Crane deck. So can't play that. Ooh, Bill does not find a Conjo District there. A little bit unfortunate for him. Wasn't a great chance there, though. He had, what, one storehouse, I think two, no, just one Satoshi. Okay, so it's still one and three, I think. Which is not the worst, but not surprising that he didn't find it. So what is your first attack going to be here? You could go water. How many keepers does he have? Two, two keepers. It's going fire, interesting. Uh, so I think this says that he doesn't have the way of the crane, which is a little bit unfortunate if that is the case. It's a very big attack. Uh, he will be able to pull somebody with the challenger. And committing two characters means that he doesn't have to worry about the emperor bowing somebody. I don't see we'll I don't think we'll see the emperor redirect the challenger ability. That's probably not where you want to use that. I guess if he had way of the crane, he could redirect it to the rival, but then if he had two, then that's kind of bad. We'll have to see where he uses this Emperor. Walking the way, going to bow the Challenger. If he's not able to honor this Uji, that could be a problem. Military, yeah, so you go for the pull on Satoshi here for sure. Still winning. And if he wants to Emperor to bow your Kaizen now, that's probably fine. Bonsai, okay. No cancel. Uh, you could Kaizen duel now. Oh, he's clouded. Unfortunate. That's got to be the third cloud from Phoenix, right? I don't think he has any left. Yeah. So if you let go that one, you're free from clouds. Only seeing one let go. Ooh. Yeah, the Emperor on let go, though, is very unfortunate. Uh, discards the Ornate Fan. It's not the end of the world, though. Bonsai on Kaizen. So the double bonsai here will do the trick. Puts him back at winning, so he has to use the Emperor's Bow now. Curlis doing Lion Splash? Yeah, Curlis is on Lion Splash. Um, 
He is known for his very unique deck that he plays. He really likes My Ancestor's Strength. He runs Strength in Numbers. Uh, and then one other card that I can't remember. He has uh, one Legion of One. That's the other one. Yeah. That's his usual deck. Um, so the Supernatural Storm is going to do it there. Oh, interesting. He boxed for the Walking the Way to get the bow there. So he doesn't have his Stronghold now. Uh, so I think Crane is fine with that. Like, you got him to spend a lot there. Didn't get the Emperor Bow, which is a little bit unfortunate, but your goal as Crane is just to not die this turn. Yeah, definitely defend with Uji here. Hmm, he might need a Conflict character. Let's see. Had to step away. Who's winning? Um, well, that's a good question. Phoenix definitely has a lot this turn, but he basically has to break the stronghold right now. Phoenix should be all inning here. Yeah, he has one political attack left, so... I, I do kind of like the uh, poke play here, because you don't know... Does he have, how many Ancestor's Strengths does he have? He has three in the deck. Yeah, so you don't know if he has the third Ancestor's Strength. He's only played one Storm. So he could very easily break this with just this character if you under-defend here. But, like, are you gonna, are you gonna commit the Yuri? I don't think you are. Because if you do that, then you probably just lose to the political attack. It's definitely a tough spot for Crane. I do like using both conflicts as Phoenix. There's Legion of One. Wow. So he's winning the conflict now. Uh, this is Air, so it'll get him two keepers. There's the Bow. There is a Menacing Iron Warrior. One Fate left. We haven't seen him play a single Policy Debate. Guessing he just hasn't seen those. Should have gone all in. Um, my ancestor's strength. Yeah, like, I, I think he just doesn't need to here. Like, does throwing the two solemn scholars in really get you that much? Yeah, ancestor's strength plus legion of one is a lot. And then, oh, yeah, that's going to be GG. If he has, like, any storms as well. Yeah, there's just not really anything. He had two more storms, yeah. So Crane was super dead there. Yeah, if Phoenix didn't win that turn, uh, he would have definitely lost the game because his whole board would just die. Perhaps the correct play was not attack at all and just defend. I mean, maybe. Like, that attack pulled a lot of resources out of Phoenix. It just... He just had too much there. Oh, yeah, he just forgot to flip on that attack. Okay. But, yeah, honestly... I think uh, Jeremy just mainly lost this game to not drawing the cards that he needed to draw at the right time. Um, only seeing one let go, second one at the very end, and no way the cranes. 
Not to mention two of the Ancient Masters getting discarded off of the Spies at Court, as well as one of the Menacing Iron Warriors. Oh, he did see a policy debate. Did he play that, or did it get discarded? I think it got discarded, right? I don't think we actually saw him play that. Hold on. Discards policy debate at random, yeah. So he didn't he didn't get to play a single policy debate that game. That was just really rough. Yeah, Rona definitely did a lot of work. But yeah, uh, congratulations to Bill on winning that game for Phoenix. He is going to move up to the top eight where he will play against either a scorpion or another phoenix so we'll see what happens there yeah I really needed more cards But yeah, that's going to do it for this game. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.